Hey guys, welcome back to Living in Rhode Island. I'm Melissa Delena. We're here today with Zach Sprague, and we are actually talking about living in Rhode Island. Zach, I live in Rhode Island. I'm born and raised in Rhode Island, probably why I was asked to talk about this. Uh, I have left. I'm not stuck here, but I feel like most Rhode Islanders always come back. So some of the things I wanted to hit on today is what's so great about living in Rhode Island? Yeah, absolutely. And the first one that comes to mind, at least in my opinion, is you really get to experience all four seasons. Totally. Not Sometimes they're not as defined mm. each year, but you can definitely experience all four seasons. You, the, the, the New England weather, you can get some really hot summers, some really cold winters. So there's a little bit for everybody mm -hmm. weather related. Yeah. Uh, what's one of yours? Uh, I think one of my favorites are actually the beaches. I love that we have such proximity to the beaches. I've always said if I ever lived more inland, I might feel claustrophobic. You right. know, it's kind of like my homing center is when I go to the beach. So. Right. There's lots of coastal options, too, if you do want to live by the water. Totally. You can easily access it as well as live by and it if that's There's also a want. lot of lakes and outdoor living. Uh, there's a lot of great trails. Yep. So I think generally speaking, that's something that I really enjoy in Rhode Island. Yeah. I, I personally, I, I enjoy the lifestyle differences as well there's mm -hmm. a little bit for everybody around here you can live on a farm or near a farm and then still be 15 20 minutes away from the the, the middle of providence oh my kind gosh of thing. totally and not to mention the proximity to big metropolises right, right. like providence is not a metropolis compared to new york city it's or the rhode Boston. island version of a metropolis <laughs> for sure <laughs> and we do get a good amount of traffic yeah. so uh you can compete one would there. think the yeah. first time driving in you're like oh wow this is going to be boston-esque and it's like oh never mind <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of which what what are some of the, in your opinion, the downsides to living in Rhode Island? I mean, there uh, there is definitely some traffic. Uh, it's kind of a running joke, right? Yep. That there's always construction on 95 and 195. It's actually probably not a joke at this point. It's more just factually <laughs> accurate that true. there is just always construction in that area. I think that that's probably one of my biggest takeaways. Right. Uh, you know, all the potholes, that definitely tends to be something that we see a problem with. Yeah. And ju jumping off of that, it's inconsistent traffic. It's yeah. not traffic that you can count on where you drive into work each morning you're like oh it's going to be 45 minutes to get in all the <laughs> right. time it's sometimes it's 20 minutes and sometimes it's an hour and a half yeah and you're just like oh my god it makes it hard to to be on time for things because you're either going to be in the parking lot for an hour yes like on your phone or even opening up your computer and working from your <laughs> your your car right. or you're going to be late it's, yeah it's I tough you're right and that does happen yeah definitely kind of stinks. Uh, so one other thing that i would say i've personally experienced is the rhode island effect on people Ugh. where if it's more than 15 minutes someone is going to complain about it <laughs> and it's it's very exclusive to rhode island it's like oh you moved 20 minutes away it's like yeah, yeah it's five more than the 15 that i was before it's a thing here yeah. and i think it really truly is because we are so dense yeah right obviously rhode island being the smallest state it's not going to be spread out the same way that you would be in north dakota right there it's just like a little different yeah it's, it's not, just a smidgen it's hardly so noticeable. we truly have become so spoiled that you've got great restaurants great yep. shopping great access to anything you want or need pretty much any time of the day within about 10 or 15 minutes that it really does become that rhode island effect we get spoiled of I don't really want to drive 20 or 30 minutes because that's just so far. I mean, you can cross the state in an hour, right. tip to tip, pretty much. Yeah. So I get that there's this Rhode Island effect. And I've, like I said, I've been out of state. I've gone, you know, 30 minutes, an hour to work, mm -hmm. not even blinking an eye. But once you're back, it sucks you back in. It does. Yeah, for sure. So, One other thing that I wanted to touch on that's not so great about it is there's a higher cost of living than the average. And then there's also higher taxes. The sales tax, the property taxes are higher, as well as we pay a vehicle tax. Um, it's just a higher than the majority of uh, most states that you see. Yeah, so. it is definitely, I think New England in general right. tends to be more um, expensive to live in, you know, certainly compared to the southern states. But I think it's also more affordable than New York definitely. because we saw a lot of transplants coming over when we had the, the COVID cloud and people mm -hmm. were able to work remote. So many folks were coming in from out of state because they said, I can work anywhere. Why wouldn't I want to work in a place where I have easy access to beaches and, you know, really great community and culture and tons of phenomenal food? Exactly. So, um, and the train, you know, the train is so close. You can hop the train and get to Boston. Go to Boston. You can drive to Boston in an hour. You can drive Don't to New that. York in a few hours. It's not that bad. <laughs> after the do you want to park after you get there? <laughs> 
<laughs> take the train. Figure it out. It, take, it takes a little bit of time. I'm a driver. There's a bunch of connectors. It's fine. Don't I, worry about it. I'm a driver. It's not worth the 20 minutes of stress trying to park in Boston. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I also will pay to park any day. Oh, okay. So for me, I'm not going to worry about it. I want to have control of my schedule. I don't want to wait for the train. That's fair. And it's not that bad. Honestly, I don't think Boston traffic's that bad. I'll, Depend on I'll, the time I'll of stick day. with my train. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I, I think Rhode Island is a great state to live in, a great state to raise a family in, great state to, you know, have access to a lot of different areas. You know, even getting up to New Hampshire or Maine. Yeah. That's only a four hour ride. You can get to Canada. That's forever six. for Rhode Island. Oh, we, yeah. We, we can't make it there. An, an overnight. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're going to take off. If you have lending questions, you know to hit up Zach. If you have attorney questions, you know to hit up me. Obviously, if you have any house questions, you want to relocate here, give Albert a call. Call me. I'm over here. Call me. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for listening. Hope you subscribe. Bye, guys.